If mobile home parks are such a great investment, then why do so many people quit before they get their first deal done? It's not because the market is too hot. It's not because the sellers don't want to sell. And it's not because the window of opportunity is closed. Today, I'm going to walk you through the five most important steps that you need to take in order to get your first deal done. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Mario Dottillo here. Welcome back to my channel where we talk everything mobile home parks. To make sure that you keep getting mobile home park content, make sure to crush that subscribe button. Let's jump into this. Step one, know the business. Now this might seem obvious to you, but the more you understand what you're investing in, the more you're gonna build confidence to go out and pull the trigger and do your first deal. So what you need to do is you need to study up. You need to go online, research everything mobile home parks and mobile home park investing that you can find. You can even take courses that are going to teach you everything that you need to know start to finish. I highly recommend watching tons of YouTube channels, mine included. There's podcasts out there that you can be listening to while you're out at the gym or driving down the road. There's industry events that you can go to where you learn everything that's happening real time in the industry. I highly recommend reading blogs and staying up to date on current events in the industry. The other area that you want to focus is networking. Start talking to people who already own mobile home parks and are doing exactly what you want to do. They're going to be able to teach you things that you can't read about online. The other group of people that I want you to network with is bankers, because the more you understand the way they look at the deal, the better you're going to be when you start sourcing debt for your investments. Another aspect of that is you're going to need to go to them soon with your first deal. And so if you have an established relationship, you can take advantage of that. Step two, start looking at deals. Now this might seem a little bit backwards, but people get stuck in the analysis paralysis mode. They're researching and researching and researching, but they never actually look at a real opportunity and analyze it. The great thing about this is you might stumble across an opportunity for yourself to buy in the process of learning. The next thing you need to do is start at least one marketing strategy in addition to networking with brokers. As the opportunities start flowing in, you're going to be talking to the owners and underwriting the deals. There's no better way than to learn with a real opportunity on the table. You're going to pay close attention, I guarantee it. You're throwing yourself in the deep end, forcing yourself to learn. Step three. Determine your strengths and weaknesses. Again, this might seem a little bit backwards, but if you start out by looking at deals, you'll quickly realize what comes easy and what isn't easy for you. Everyone thinks that you need to be good at everything, like sourcing deals, negotiating, underwriting, financing, due diligence, management, all that. But the truth is commercial real estate is a team sport. So what you want to do is you want to find people who have complementary skill sets to you and team up with them. Don't think that you need to have everything built out in order to get your first deal done. That's just not the case. All right, so here's the scary one. Step four, make offers. Making offers is the only way that you're going to actually get a deal done. You say, well, I'm just learning. What if I accidentally get one under contract on my first try? That's a great problem to have. As you get close to tying up a property, go and talk to the people that you networked with before that understand the business too, and go and look at your research that you were doing. Use those tools to better understand each opportunity and whether you buy it or not, you're gonna learn something. If you do this step a lot, I guarantee you're gonna get your first deal sooner than you realize. Step five, talk to lenders. As soon as you start seeing a deal looking like it's going to go to contract, you need to begin lining up the debt. Since you're new, you're going to need to talk to a lot of bankers to find out if they even want to lend on mobile home parks. You got to plan to talk to at least 10 of them. If it's a value add property, you're going to go to a local bank. And if it's a stabilized property, you can go to a mortgage broker and they'll shop it to different lenders for you. And you can look at CMBS loans, life insurance, and even agency lenders for those kind of deals. Regardless of what type of lender you go to, now is the time to start putting it in front of them so that they can pick it apart and also give you terms that you can use in your underwriting. Just because a lender will lend doesn't mean that it's a good deal, but this is going to help you weed out all the deals that are not financeable. If the lender says that the deal is financeable, but for some reason you're not, then what you want to do is you want to partner with someone else to help co-sponsor that deal with you. 
The bank is going to be looking for a couple different things. So we're going to be looking for net worth, liquidity, and experience to approve the borrower. So I promised you five steps, but I've actually got a bonus step for you. It's move quickly. Time is the killer of deals. And the longer it takes you to get your due diligence done and get to a close, the more chances that you're going to start to second guess yourself and question all of the decisions that you've been making. As long as the due diligence is checking out, keep moving forward. Look at it this way. If you can't find a reason to pass on the deal, don't. No park is gonna be perfect. So you're gonna to need to weigh price versus risk. There's gonna be one big thing at every property and you need to decide, can you get over that or is it just priced accordingly? Pass on deal killers like bad phase one, bad neighborhood, or even things like no demand for your product. These are things that you can't fix and they'll just kill your deal. The order that you complete these steps and the pace that you do it at is gonna totally determine your success. Don't get stuck listening to podcasts and watching YouTube videos. Listening to me all day is gonna feel like work, but it's really not. In order to get a deal done, you have to be talking to sellers and doing the things that generate deals. If you haven't figured out my strategy already, it's to get you to accidentally stumble across a good deal that you can actually buy. Fear is going to kick in at some point and pushing through it without ignoring the red flags is going to get you across the finish line. So there you have it, five steps and a bonus to getting your first mobile home park deal done. I want to hear in the comments below what's holding you up from getting your first deal done. If you want to hear how I got into mobile home park investing, watch this video right here. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.